If you're someone who's thinking about getting the Helix piercing but wants to know more information before actually doing it, then you're watching the right video. Hey guys, what's up? It's Rory here from Lewis. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys five important facts you need to know before getting the Helix piercing. Number one as the facts we need to know is about the location of this actual piercing. So for the location, this is me featured on the top section of the ear. We're talking about above your lobes, all the way up to this area, which is all considered a helix or helix piercing area. So that is the location where the helix piercing generally goes. Number two on the list for the facts are jewelry. There's so many cute options you could choose from for jewelry. My personal favorite is starting with the 14 karat gold crystal pushback, essential piece with a dainty little stud. If you don't like studs, we have gold crystal hoops with gems all around the hoops as well. And you want something a little bit more edgy, I love absolutely the 14 karat gold crystal lightning bolt. It's an essential piece, it's super cute, I absolutely love it. But now if you're saying, I don't really like gold, if anything that's silver colored, definitely we got our titanium Swarovski cluster, which is an essential piece. I love how it just fills the full area of ear right over here, essentially shiny piece as well. But if you want something too big, or out there, you want something simple and aesthetic as well too. You can go similar to like the gold one, just the titanium, the silver titanium crystal prong jewelry, the central piece again, a dainty piece of jewelry you can put along any different sizes, looks super cute. Fact number three, things to be careful for. Of course, getting to it right away, touching with it, sleeping with it, messing with it around, playing with it, completely avoid all this. And of course, be careful while doing hair, fixing hair, or getting hair done. Another key fact for this one is, a little bonus for you guys is, avoid for the first month swimming any kinds of body of water, pools, streams, lakes, ponds, rivers, whatever it is, but please do take a shower. Fact number four is healing time. For the college piercing or the helix piercing, we're looking about six to nine months for the healing. Depends if everything goes well. If not, it's gonna prolong the healing process. You're gonna extend the time and you're gonna have to wait longer. So patience is key. Please be patient with this piercing. Fact number five, last but not least, is the aftercare. So the final step of the aftercare is what do you use to clean? Of course, avoid alcohol, peroxide, stuff that are not belong on your piercings or not intended for your piercing. What you wanna to use to clean your piercing is of course using a saline wound wash spray. Spare on a Q-tip or spray directly clean the front and the back twice a day. Other than that, follow the steps previously and you should be A-OK. -okay. If you're interested to learn how to style your piercings, click on the video on the screen right now.